Hello everyone, Magdalena here, Wolf of Coins. Thank you so much for tuning in. Very often I get the question, um, which decks are good for beginners with Terre de Marseille? So I thought I will just make a video uh, talking about some decks that I think are good for beginners. And yeah, and everybody can um, get their questions answered, hopefully. If not, <laughs> ask away, ask away in the comment section. So let's start with this one. I have finally obtained the paper version because I will say it. Um, I've had the app version for quite a while. Uh, it's CBD Tarot de Marseille by Dr. Joab Bendov. And what's also great about this deck is that um, Dr. Joab Bendov uh, put all of the images into the internet so you can actually download them, download them for free and use uh, for like for non-commercial use. So for study, for fun, whatever you like, uh, you can use them. And they are both in, uh, I think at least majors are both in color and in like only line art version. So you, what you can do, you can print them out and color them yourself. Uh, if you want to like work with the card more deeply, I did work with the uh, Empress. This is colored pencils, by the way. <laughs> so I colored it, or you can print out uh, cards in color and use them however you like. This is the second edition by US Games, which also means it's very, it's become very accessible now. So uh, I'm starting also with this deck because it's easily available. It's on Amazon, Book Depository, so in many places in the world you can buy this. And it's also affordable. So, <clears throat> so yeah. Um, this is this is a deck that that is a restoration of the Convert deck. Eh, come on, it's brand new. I just got it yesterday. Whoop. So yeah, your regular little white book. Well, you have some instructions here too. Oh, look here. There is there is a blank card. I don't use it really, but you can. Presentation card. So yeah, this is how it looks like. Look, the lines are very crisp. As far as I know, it was a draw like the the line art was drawn by a pen, by hand. And yeah, and everything is very visible. So and the card stock it's US games. Uh, cardstock so it's very good I mean easy to shuffle and whatnot so yeah I'm looking forward to using this deck and if you're just starting you're not sure if you want to invest a lot of money into a deck um, I recommend this one because uh, all of the reasons I just listed <laughs> okay uh, then my second choice would be the uh, Hodorowski Come One deck. It's my first ever serious um, Terre de Marseille deck, and I love it to bits. It's a teeny bit larger, but really only a little bit than in the CBD. And some people say it's it's controversial that Hodorowski and Come One imagine things and put and put them inside here, but uh, I don't mind actually. I think it's just uh, like specific specific characteristic of this deck. What I can also say is that this deck is a bit more detailed. It has more details than this one. Because uh, Joab Bendov wanted to be as faithful as possible, whilst here there is a little bit of like um, tiny bit of freedom, I'd say. There are some things added that might not have been there, like something like here. Let me show you. 
the egg here. See, so it can be an egg, it don't, doesn't have to be an egg, it can be just something, some lines. You see, there, there are some lines here in the CBD. But yeah, um, I think this tag has a character and also it's pretty beautiful. Uh, and I, as I said, it has more details. This deck, uh, on the other hand, has more smiling faces because uh, Joachim Bendov was of the opinion that um, like in the past, even if we look at the, at the picture, the old pictures, people were dead serious on them. And <laughs> he thought that it, he will make it more modern if people were just, you know, the faces were less stern, more happy, and that's what you will find here. Plus, he left some, you know, um, this is a specific tr uh, treat of Terre de Marseille. It has some things that you cannot really explain. What is this? Why is it like that? Uh, these flesh colored thingies. He left them because he believed it should be like in the original. He didn't fix anything. And yeah, and it's one of the beautiful things about Terre de Marseille that you see weird things and then they uh, trigger your brain to, to see various things in your readings. Anyway, anyway, I, I love this deck too. It's one of my favorite, favorite, favorite. It's very beautiful, but as you can see, the faces are more serious. Serious. Okay. So this is also a restoration. And why why I recommend restoration is because simply because if you're starting you want to be able to see everything clearly. So you could start with um, a reproduction deck, but then very often some lines are blurred and you cannot see very well. So that's why I recommend the restorations plus they are less expensive. Mm. However, recently I checked this this deck is, is more expensive than this one actually. Didn't know that when I was buying this it was still um yeah I was buying it from the author's page, not from Amazon. Important to you for both these decks, so the C B D and uh, Hodorowski, by the way, I don't know about newer editions, but Hodorowski's cardstock is something I really like, and it's actually thinner, thinner than the CBD, but yeah, <laughs> again, digressing, so uh, you might find it helpful that, oh, come on camera holder, that there are uh, books to accompany these decks, well, you can you can use these books with any decks actually, uh, but any deck actually. But yeah, you get the in the uh, Marseille Tarot revealed by Joachim Mendov. Uh, he used his deck, of course, and in the Hodorowski and Costas book, the. Um, the deck by Hodorowski and Kamon is used. So, yeah, you might find it helpful and all of the details, the the eggs and such are explained uh, in this book. Uh, okay, then the next one is Jean Dodal. Wow. <laughs> and it's also a restoration. Let's see. Yeah, there is a preface by Enrique Enriquez and a text by Jean Claude Flornois. Hope I pronounced it right. I have no French people. <laughs> yeah, there is English here on this side. Yeah, so this deck is great. It's the older. Uh, it's the older a deck that is older than this one than the CBD. This is Conver, and this is majorly based on Conver deck, but not 
not only. Um, so this is the Jean Dodal. And this is type 1. If you want to know what's the thing with type 1 and type 2, I have a video about it <laughs> in my Tower of the Marseille playlist. You can check it out. So this deck is uh, quite big. Look at that. This is the CBD. It's quite big. So this is my actually my only complaint with it because um, I have small hands, you know? It's like, ah! Um, but on the other hand, you, you have the large images. You can see them well. And so type 1 um, has um, often uh, images that are more... Um, that are less nice, I'd say. There, sometimes I, I mentioned this in my last video. It's like some people have more fingers than they should have. Like, what is this? It's weird. <laughs> so there is a lot of weirdness here, but I assure you, it's wonderful to read with this deck. Even though you might think that yeah, these people are weirdos, they are just great to look at and find your meaning there. The cardstock is very good. It's uh, not too stiff. It just, yeah, it's it's big. So if, if I want to shuffle it, it's just, I mean, more uh, of a struggle, but I love this deck. It's great. Where do I put it? Okay, way. The other restoration by um, Flor Noir is uh, Jean Noble. It is one of the oldest Star de Marseille. It's 1650. And this, uh, in opposition to the Dodal, it's pretty small. It's pretty good uh, size. But can I show you? This is this is the CBD, and this is the Noble, so it's thicker. The cardstock, um, the cardstock is quite stiff and thick, and the worst part are these spiky, spiky corners. So some people even uh, round their corners on their Noblets because it just it's just painful. To shuffle. However, uh, recently I read on some Tower of the Marseille forum actually about this deck that you can you can shuffle like uh, divide the deck into three piles and first like shuffle only these a couple of times, then divide it again and then shuffle these. So you know, oh, shuffling over the camera, so it's easier. And the more you use this deck, they say, <laughs> the uh, less stiff it becomes. And about the images, they are very clear. If you want to study, just a moment, I will take a book. If you want to study this deck in depth, in depth there is a book that uses this deck and I cannot fit it into the camera. It's reading the Marseille Tarot by <clears throat> hitting the camera holder by J.M. David. And it's it's an amazing book, but it's it's actually for advanced uh, study, I'd say. But it's fascinating. However, yeah, that's the digression. <laughs> uh, this deck has, has nice creamy backgrounds and uh, clear colors and uh, contours. So it's it's a very good deck and it's not that expensive. I think it's something like 22 euros, but as opposed to the first two decks, these two, meaning uh, the Noble and, and Dodal, they are uh, available to, for purchase in, in Europe, I think in France. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's France. So you have to, you know, count the shipping for that. But yeah, it's not that expensive. And it's a very good deck.
to start. If you can, can get over the spiky, <laughs> spiky corners. Uh, since I started shuffling, like I showed you, like dividing three, it got much better and really easy peasy. So yeah, can be done. Then I wouldn't be me if I didn't mention this deck, Tarot de Marcella Robledo by Pablo Robledo. Uh, you always see this deck on my channel. Uh, I'm not didn't show it at the beginning because it's not so easily available. Um, I don't remember from where I ordered actually. It's possible then from uh, that from Argentina. So it. It did cost a bit, but it's a wonderful deck. It's a wonderful deck with beautiful details, soft lines, and yeah, it's just beautiful. The cardstock is awesome. It's really awesome. So yeah, uh, you have all these possibilities. I'm sure there are more decks that you can use, but I just don't own them, don't own them so I cannot show them to you. Uh, but yeah, there is some, some choice. And lastly, I wanted to mention I have this deck and I love to use it, but I would say it's not... Because people also asked me, um, is the uh, Triomphi della Luna by Patrick Valenza? And people have been asking me if it's a good Terra de Marseille beginner deck. And sadly, I have to say it's not. It's great if you feel already comfortable with Terra de Marseille, but I wouldn't recommend it as a starter deck. Uh, you can read it, of course. You can start use it for the starter deck if you're just uh, if you just want to study pip decks. So it is a pip deck. You can you can use if you want to just use num numerology with the pips, then it's completely fine. But Terra de Marseille has so much more to offer that it would be a pity to start with a deck where you cannot really use all its like the opportunities that it gives you. So the classical Terra de Marseille has a lot of so-called uh, eye rhymes, and here because the uh, images are more you know imaginative, they are also more original, and there are less. Um, like patterns or objects that repeat themselves in many cards so uh, so yeah so that's the reason I would say it's it's a deck for an advanced Terra de Marseille reader or or just if you want to read with pip text so I hope you've enjoyed this video I hope I was helpful as always if you have any questions please let me know and I'll see you again soon, hopefully. Bye.